This version of Job Pro has had a lot of stock and inventory related functionality added, including the ability to track products by serial numbers and at multiple locations, but also to track batches for products as well. So the way that works is that, for example, if we go into products, and here we've got a product, and it's tracked by serial numbers. So initially setting up the product, we'll say that we track quantities in stock, and that we also track it individually using serial numbers manually. So then if we go and do a purchase order for that product and go to receive it, or basically increase the stock for this product, then at the, that point we can create a batch for those items or serial numbers that we're receiving into go into store. So let's do a, a quick example of that. If we click on stock and we go and we'll do like an opening balance for this particular product. And we'll say that it's the main stock location and that there's a quantity of five of those in stock. Now this could be very similar to receiving on a purchase order or assembling goods as well. Anything that increases the stock of an item that is tracked by serial numbers, you have the ability to batch those into a single batch. So now if I click out of there, it's now specifying to, to say what are the five serial numbers for those items. So we can auto assign serial numbers as well. So we'll say starting with this number and the length of the serial number is 15 characters. But it's at this point that we can specify to link to a new batch. So we click on link and we call it sample batch. We can give it a description if we like and click on create. So now these five serial numbers are all linked to this batch. We click continue. So if we go into the batches module we click on find all and we go to the last record that was created and we here we can see the sample batch record from the example of creating a stock movement and increasing stock by in this case a quantity of five so they're all linked to the actual batch and the batch will show how many was in the original quantity what's been used or sold so far and what the balance is remaining we can also do things like set a sell by date whether it's a standard sell by or sell by retail and the expiry date as well. And from the batch screen you have the ability then to go and view any of the specific individual serial numbers or items that are linked to that batch. So that pretty much covers the functionality in the new batches module.